the United States is urging China to take stronger measures to monitor North Korea sanctions violations, as a UN panel responsible for this task is nearing expiration this month. In PRC territorial waters, Beijing can enhance efforts to address the DPRK's evasion of sanctions, repatriate North Korean laborers earning money in China, and dismantle procurement networks, stated a spokesperson from the State Department in an email to VOA's Korean service on Wednesday. In response, the Vice Minister for U.S. Affairs at North Korea's Foreign Ministry, Kim Un-chol, spoke on state-run KCNA on Thursday, warning that any attempt by the U.S. to intensify sanctions or pressure would be met with a military response. Linda Thomas-Greenfield, the U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations, recently visited South Korea and Japan to explore new ways of enforcing sanctions on North Korea. The authorization of the UN panel of experts responsible for monitoring sanctions enforcement expires at the end of this month due to Russia's veto of a UN Security Council resolution calling for its annual extension. China abstained from the vote. Thomas Greenfield emphasized the critical importance of all UN member states receiving independent and accurate reports on North Korea's weapons proliferation and sanction evasion activities. She also said, We will eventually find a mechanism to continue to do the reporting. And yes, Russia and China will continue to try to block those efforts. Joshua Stanton, a Washington-based attorney who contributed to the drafting of the Sanctions and Policy Enforcement Act in 2016, noted that anyone who reads the reports of the UN panel of experts is aware that China is violating sanctions. Stanton highlighted China's illicit importation of North Korean coal, hosting of North Korean hackers, assistance in concealing North Korea's smuggling fleet, and provision of a platform for North Korea's money laundering and computer hacking networks. According to Reuters, the Royal United Services Institute found that North Korean missiles even parade through the streets of Pyongyang on Chinese trucks. Additionally, the report revealed that a U.S.-sanctioned Russian cargo ship, the Angara, which transported arms from North Korea, is currently being harbored at a Chinese port in the eastern Zhejiang province.